but let's get this show on the road here. Yeah, we got some people. You know, let's start it off. You know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be good, 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 good episode, and uh, we're actually gonna get right into it because we don't have that many birthdays in on this day to to throw out there. So we're gonna do those, talk about our episodes quick, and then get right into the fries. Yes. But uh, very happy birthday. These two birthdays, I like them a lot. We got two birthdays. June 5th. Happy birthday to June 5th. Mark Wahlberg, the man, the myth, the legend. I think I can call him that. Oh, He's got his own restaurant, two Wahlburgers, a burger hey. place. I've, I've actually never What's been up, there. dude? I've What's never been there. Dude? He's Bostonian for sure, you know? Yes, Bostonian. I'm sure he's very excited about the Boston Bruins. I said it again. Oh, Scott, man. if you're still here, oh, I'm sorry man. about your Islanders, but I'm not actually sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hashtag sorry, sorry not sorry. Not so- sorry, not sorry. I'm not even a little bit sorry about the Islanders and, uh, and them losing. But it, it's a long series. It's two games to one, so there's, there's time. Yes, but for sure. Happy birthday, Mark Wahlberg. Mark. I'm Mark. Going, I'm going Mark. It's, it's, I'm going Mark. I don't feel good about this one. Mark Daniel. Oof. Yeah, I don't feel good don't about feel, that one. I don't feel good about that one. I'm going to go with Mark Scott Wahlberg. Oh, what's up, Alfonso? Alfonso. Mark Scott Wahlberg's birthday today. I, 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 <laughs> to check it. Hold on. I just had a brain fart. As I was typing <laughs> it, I said, I typed in Mark Scott Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to come up because that's that's right. That's correct. That's who it is. Oh, wow. Okay. We were off. We How were bad? off. He's got a double middle name. So and it's two? actually two names of us. We have Mark Robert Michael Wahlberg. What the heck? He's a fan. Yeah. He's got to be a fan. And guess what he's turning today? You want to, this is this is a good guess. This is a good guess. Uh, forty-two. The big five zero. What really? Marky Mark is turning the big five zero. Dude, I look. I wish I. I hope I look half as good as he yeah. does at fifty when I get there. Definitely looks phenomenal. Uh, and now we'll move on to another. Man, the myth, the legend type character, I would say. Uh, maybe not quite to the same level of esteem. I'm going happy birthday to Impractical Joker, Joe Gatto. Yeah, fellow New Yorker. Yes, big time. Uh, obviously, hilarious guy. Personally, I think most episodes, my favorite Joker. Yep. I think so. Uh, I, yeah, he's, uh, he's top one for me of the Joker. Yeah. Sorry, you know. Top two and not 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 two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm going. I'm going. You know what? I want to stick with the us trend. I'm thinking it's. I'm thinking it's Joseph Michael. Okay, Joseph Michael. Okay, going Joseph back to Michael Mike. Gatto. I'm going back to it. We're gonna have a. It go sounds here. good. Um, I think it's gonna be something way more Italian. Actually. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be Italian for sure. I'll, I'll go a couple of Italian. I'm gonna say it's Joseph Lorenzo Gatto. I just said that. I, I want to get half credit. Oh, did you say it? I did say it. Oh, I, I said it kind of low. I said it kind of okay. low, so I didn't think you heard me. Oh, me. okay. All right. So I want half credit. We're going to have to go pretty, back and check the film. It's pretty Italian, but not very. It's Joseph Louis. Anthony Gatto. Ah, by junior. Son. He's a junior. Oh, he's a junior. Excellent. I'm thinking he's going to be turning the, the, uh, the big the big four six. Was that four three you said? I said four six. Oh, right. four six. I'm sorry, you cut out for one moment. So sorry. very close. Four, six. Turning forty five. Ah. Yeah, Next year, close. I would have been very right. close. I would have been right. Yes. And what happened on this day, Mike? On this Again, day, June fifth. June fifth. On this day in two thousand and nine. The first one of the, uh, I think it was a trilogy. I think so. Gonna fact check that. We're going to fact check that, but I'm, I'm very confident that it was a trilogy. Was. The was. Hangover released. The first one, the best one, arguably. And I'd say. I actually heard the third one was rubbish. I Ooh. actually never saw the third one because I've heard that. But the second one Got was it. still pretty good, but the first one was very, very good. Of course. Yeah. 
Was, it's hard to do. I feel like especially kind of with comedy movies, especially with comedy movies, it's hard to, to repeat it, you know, uh, come up with a completely new plot line, new jokes. It's hard. I think a lot of comedy movies are better kind of one off, you know. Um, I think Anchorman, I, I know you're I'm not sure if you've seen Anchorman Actually, and Anchorman 2. I think that's a, a similar case to The Hangover, you know, like, oh, it did so well. We got to capitalize yeah. and make more. But you know, it's hard to come up with a, a, another solid plot line with a lot of good jokes. Yeah, that's why I'm really glad that my favorite movie, Step Brothers, has yeah. come out with the Step Brothers too, because there's been a lot of rumors that they've yes, there has, it, and I really don't want them to. So, you know, Will Farrell, don't do it. Yes, James C. Riley. However, bi- however big the bag is, please do not. Succumb. Please don't. Because I know it's not going to be as good. I'm sure it will be funny, but it's it's not going to be it's not going to be the same. It's like you can't. Yeah. Touch it. it literally can't. You can't do it. It's like how how you, you just can't end the story. You can't do it. But you, you know what you can do? do. Oh look at that! <laughs> look at that! That was nice. That was funny. Oh wow. That was real good. Yeah. Take uh, it away. You know what you can do? You can watch hashtag <laughs> no drinks every hashtag Thursday. <laughs> And on this uh, hashtag Thirsty Thursday, I tried something very interesting. I tried bubble tea out of a can. Yeah, now, was... something I thought of afterwards was maybe I should have asked for a straw or something mm. because, uh, I mean, I, I typically do not like to drink out of a can out of a straw. That's, I, you know, if you're having a can, you want to do that. Uh, but the thing was is that, and I, I – uh, edited this in at the end that I didn't get the the little uh, bubbles, the boba balls, anything. I've seen that you can buy a bag of the straws there too. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. That would have been nice. Happens. Would have been, been nice. nice. Now you know. Maybe maybe you gotta try it again. Yeah. Try maybe a different flavor. That'd be- and, and see what happens. I will say it. though. The flavor I did try, the honeydew, was on point. I love a honeydew melon, and it was very on point with the flavor. One comment I did want to make about the boba tapioca pearls is what they called them on the can. Tapioca pearls. Um, they were much more uh, tough and than, uh, than the regular bubbles that I'm used to and, like, regular bubble tea. So you finally got one. Oh. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying, uh, Lindsay. I didn't like the boba as much as, like, a regular bubble tea that I would get from, a, like, a regular place. So I just got this from an Asian market, um, and I thought that the boba was not as good. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. could be from sitting in the can for too long. And You're getting the comments on Instagram? Because I'm actually not. Oh, yeah, Lindsay's, uh, Lindsay's blowing yeah. comments right now. Nothing new there. Yeah, I haven't seen any come any come in. Well, if you like honeydew, uh, Lindsay, I would definitely say to try that one out because it, it was definitely very close to a honeydew flavor and tasted very good in that aspect. But the bow was a little bit of a letdown because uh, I only got it in like the last like this much in the can. So it is what it is. Uh, I would definitely be willing to try another one, but I think I would probably stick to regular bubble tea. But if I'm on the go. You know, oh, let me pick it up in a can. I'll, I can work with it. You know what I mean? Well, I'm sorry that I can't see any of these comments. So I'm going to have to ask you when, if and when the time comes. Yeah, for, no problem. For the fan votes when we we get to this fry bracket. Yeah, same thing with Facebook. I can never see the Facebook <coughs> comments. So yeah. you have to be honest on those. True. Sure. Uh, what would you do for Nisto Eats? Nisto Eats, okay. I went to uh, Mall. Indian cuisine, okay? So, and I mentioned it in the episode that my Indian food intake is uh, is very limited, yes. okay? Uh, it, it, I've actually only ever been to Agra, um, whether it was in Manhattan or in Bayside, Queens, back home in New York. So I was like, you know what? what what's around? And that was like one of the first things that popped up. They said it was like award-winning Indian food, I guess, for Orlando. So I was like, all right, bet. Like, I'm the one that's going to decide that if it deserves any awards, okay? Yes. So um, I went there, and it was, 
just looking at their menu was a little different. It was it was different from from Agra back home, and uh, like there were certain things that weren't on there that I thought were kind of I, I don't know again. So like I don't know if it was like supposed to be a traditional thing. Like I don't really know, but whatever. Yeah. Um, but I had to go with you know the chicken tikka masala. This the classic. Which, yeah, that's my go to at Agra, uh, which I really miss. This was good, but it's not Agra. Like not it wasn't Agra. Um, I mentioned in the video they they had uh, different levels of like heat, like hotness. Uh, it was a mild, medium, and hot. And I went with mild because you know. So. Uh, you <laughs> know. <laughs> Um, but I probably could have went up a, a step higher, honestly. Okay. Um, and I would have still been comfortable, I hope. But, uh, yeah, it was okay. It was good. It wasn't It wasn't the same. I'd probably go back there if I'm, you know, itching for it. But uh, if, if that and Agra were next to each other, I'm going to Agra. Oh, every time. Yeah. Agra's still like the bar for me, at least for me. No, that's respectable for sure. And, and... – I think uh, very similar to you. I don't really get Indian food that often, you know. What's up, Jacob? Glad you joined. How are you doing? Um, I yeah. So I don't really know. I don't really uh, see. This is also not of, telling me the. I would say Agra is the bar for me in terms of um, Indian food too, because I just don't really <laughs> seek it out too much. Um, Sorry, it's, it's also not telling me the. Uh... The Instagram thing. It's also not telling me the, the proper number of, of viewers and stuff like that. Huh. I don't know why. The, the, I mean, it's still working, it seems. So, need more Indian food in our lives. I I agree with that, Jacob. I mean, there's yeah. got to be some more places. Yeah, got to be more places like Agra. Yeah, you guys um, that are on Long Island, Indian go to Agra. Yeah, yep. go to all right. Go to Agra and Bayside, Queens. Take a little drive. It's worth it. Do it. So I haven't shown the bracket at all. So this is the big reveal. We got I've, the I've never Rose Hall of Fame fast food of French fries. We're crowning one to be inducted into our Hall of Fame. And here is what we got. You ready, Mike? I'm so ready for it. Here it is. So here it is. I got it. Gonna have to ask you to read Sharpie. It so I'm gonna nice. read it out. I'm going to read it out right here. So here's the first matchup. We got Wendy's versus Arby's. Wendy's versus Arby's. Then down here, we got Chick-fil-A versus Five Guys. Five Guys and Fries, you know. If we're on Facebook, it's it, it's shown properly. It's not backwards, but on the Instagrams, it's backwards. But it's okay. We roll with it. Here we go. On the other <coughs> side, we got McDonald's versus Burger King. Those are like those are like two head honchos. And though. then Taco Bell versus Checkers. And we did include Taco Bell on here. Uh, I'm gonna throw out some honorable mentions as we go, probably. Um, Taco Bell we included for the nacho fries. That's right. How are you feeling about the bracket overall, Mike? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling yeah. good. I think I think I know who who my winner would be, but you know we'll we'll find out when we get there. We'll see if we agree on it. We'll see if the, if the fans agree on it as well. Okay, uh, sounds good. And it really stinks that I can't see the comments because I'm always tuned in with the comments. And I, yes, I like, I like to rile you guys up that way. So here we are. Let's do it. Starting off with Wendy's versus Arby's. Easy. Now. <laughs> Arby, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what happened? No, I'm saying this is an easy one for me. Easy. Really? Oh yeah, Absolutely. of course. Hundred percent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jacob commented that the seating seems fair. I did want to throw it out. It was completely randomized. Yeah. Uh, so it worked out. I think that the seating is pretty good as well. Uh, I think there's some pretty even matchups. Um, I know Mike did paper towards Wendy's. Uh, and we have J.M. King commenting Wendy's for the win. No, no way. No way. You're getting me riled up, and I can't even see your comments. No way. No way. 
literally no way. I won't allow it on my show. I'm a co-host of this show, and I won't allow it. I've been snubbed once already with my <laughs> Scrabble, and it's not happening again. Where is it? It's up here. You can't see it. I'll do it. Can't see it. Look at that. That red there ribbon. Red <laughs> ribbon right here. That's it. German Scrabble champion. <laughs> you got to go back. You're going to respect my, my fry takes. Yes. So – if you don't know what he's talking about, go back to the Hall of Fame of board games, and then the and then the episode after is Spanish German guessing game, and you'll get filled in on all of that. But um, I am actually going to agree with Mike. I don't have a disdain for Wendy's fries. However, I do want to commend Arby's fries. Yeah, uh, they're the only curly fries in our bracket. I think curly fries are a top-notch type of fry. Um, and also they have uh, a much more diverse seasoning, you know, it's a, it's a salt and pepper combination. It's a little, you know, get a little nice peppery and the Wendy's, uh, I, I feel Wendy's fries personally can be a little inconsistent, a little too salty, a little not salted enough. Uh, Very they don't have true. it down to a science like some other on the bracket do in my opinion. That's yeah. my, that's 100%. my opinion. even if you're some kind of a sick animal that doesn't like curly fries. Arby's has crinkle fries. So there you go, starting it out with range. Okay, yeah, it's only two things of range, but how are you going to you know, do things differently with french fries? Actually, you can, which we will get into. But easily, Arby's. Even if I wasn't a hater on Wendy's, Arby's takes it anyway. Like, I'm putting my biasness aside towards Wendy's, and Arby's still wins. Yes. Wendy's fries are just not that good. I know what I'm saying. It. They're not that good. I think they're run of the mill. That's what I would say. I think they're if if this was seeded, if this was seeded one through eight, they would easily be the eighth seed, and they probably won like an NBA play-in just to get there. Oh wow! They're, they're probably the tenth seed. They're the Grizzlies. Yeah, You're the Grizzlies. Oh wow! But that's, the Grizzlies uh, are that's... better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna write in that Arby's has yeah, won. That's, that's a unanimous. Decision. Wendy's Frosties, though, those are legit. Yeah. Okay, all right, Paul. I got we got a comment on Facebook, and Paul, your the first sentence is absolutely incorrect, but the second sentence is by far the most accurate. So he says Arby's fries suck, which I disagree with, Paul. But he follows it up by saying all American in Massapequa is the best, and he's not wrong. So where we're going for fast food chains? If it was if, if like all Americans like. My, I, I'm gonna say it's like a mom and pop shop. It's a one, it's, you can only get it there. It's only one place. Yeah. And if if we were including that, a hundred percent every single time they're gonna win this bracket. In my personal opinion, they're gonna beat every single one. I will arm wrestle you, Paul says. Uh, you will James arm wrestle me. And all all American onion rings are better. Better than the fries. That's what he said. I don't know. I don't know. Hey. Who is this guy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, their onion rings are good, but their fries are untouchable. So, you think you're untouchable. Oh, also, I wanted to make a quick honorable mention right here. I had a, uh, okay, a so thought sure. here. That's um, you said Arby's also has crinkle cut fries. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Nathan's. We did not uh, include no. them on the bracket. They do have crinkle cut fries. That is another type of fry. Uh, all American in Smithtown too. I think that's American Roadside, unless I'm mistaken. Lindsay said there's an all American Smithtown. I'm, I thought that was American Roadside, but that's just okay. We got to move on. Uh, next matchup, Arby's moved on in the bracket, but now we have Chick Fil A waffle fries versus Five Guys burgers and fries. Mike. Can you say that one again? I was slightly distracted. We have Chick-fil-A's waffle fries versus Five Guys burgers and fries. Honestly, I think this is probably the toughest matchup in this bracket. You want me to touch on this one first? Yes, please. Sugar, honey, iced tea. All right. So I don't know how to go with this because they're so – man, like it's, it's, it's waffle fries versus crinkle fries, and it's just like both of them are, are, are so top-notch. Paul is going, mmm, five guys. Mm. Oh, man. It's so tough because five guys, their fries are really exceptional. 
they you load up they load up that bag. Yep. Man, and it's like Super fresh oily. Cut, you know, yep. they tell you where the potatoes are from, but like, oh, dude, this Chick Fil A's like waffle fries, man. They have it down to a science. What I was gonna say with the right amount of salt on those fries to keep them nice. That's my yeah. opinion. You take this away because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to sit on this one for a bit. Well, one I'm other thinking... thing I wanted to say about Five Guys is something we always come back to. You just talked about with Arby's is range. They do have the Cajun fries. Oh, I'm a fan right. of the Cajun fries. I'm pretty Five sure Guys. they also have like like cheese fries and stuff like that. I could. I believe understand. they do have cheese fries as well. Chick Fil A has nothing. They have they have waffle fries. That's all they have. They um, might have crinkle fries too. Mm, not waffle. sure. Not not a hundred percent sure on that. Don't don't. I add. also would like to say, Five Guys has peanuts in the restaurant. Always thought that was weird. James, I think it's for when you're waiting for your food. Who wants nuts in a burger joint? I think it's just a little snack before you you get your food. Um, Chick Fil A. What I'm saying for Chick Fil A, I love Chick Fil A sauce. I, everyone does, right? Who doesn't love Chick Fil A sauce? It's very good. I soak my fries in the Chick Fil A sauce. Oh, you're on the Yeah, oh, I, not like actually soak, but like I get some hefty amounts on there, uh, and I think that that enhances the fry way more. So I'm like kind of think high, more highly of the fry because of the sauce. But if we're talking about just the fry, I think I might, I think I might kind of give the edge to five guys just like a little bit just because like i feel like the sauce kind of the way you know what i'm i'm glad you said it because i wanted you to take the floor because i wasn't sure and i was leaning towards five guys and i think you solidified it for me i'm gonna agree that five guys is gonna go on to james is not happy with us right now he voted heavy for (laughs) chick-fil-a It's it's a very times. it's a it's a very tough one for sure. But I, I just think that like also like consistency for Five Guys. It's like yeah, you you know every single time. It's like if you don't if you've never been to Five Guys, you can't get a large fry because you're gonna be have you're gonna have fries. You're gonna be whole, your whole meal. Like you need to get a small one because they're gonna put the little cup in it, but yep. then pour like six scoops of fries extra on there. And yep. every single time, those fries are just banging. So, ah, yeah, I really got to go with it. I got to go with Five Guys as well. Right, a, so that's yeah. that, that's definitely a tough one. Like, I'm not bashing Chick-fil-A's. Chick-fil-A is a very yeah. tough first-round exit. Like, yeah, I that's, think that's, a lot of other matchups, Chick-fil-A makes it out, which, yeah. you know, definitely tells you that Five Guys is a strong contender. So, we're going to move I on. Wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's an upset, but, like, it, it's, it's, it's just a tough break. You know, it's yeah. a tough matchup. For sure. So I'm going to move that's why we do this. to the other side of the bracket. Yeah, that's what uh, James has commented too. Everyone's got different opinions. That's what makes it fun. Yeah. McDonald's versus Burger King. <clears throat> the head honchos. Yeah. Those are like the two, like, bugaboo. Like, those are the guys at, yeah. at the top of the fast food chain, if you will. You know what? And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say my pick, and I think it's going to be a little controversial. Okay. But I'm going to Burger King, and here's why. I know, you're, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you know what we're going to say, because I said it in preparation of this episode off camera, and I slipped. And then I was, then we both, Austin and I thought, we're like, oh, wait a minute here. Chicken fries. If yes. we're counting nacho fries, which we're going to get to, Taco Bell's nacho fries, you got to count chicken fries as well. So not only do they have the chicken fries, but they also have the regular crinkle fries. And honestly, I think their crinkle fries are pretty underrated. Like, McDonald's, again, cons- I don't even know if I want to call them consistent because either there's, like, <laughs> 17 and a half pounds of salt or there's no salt at all. So yeah. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, McDonald's fries are are pretty superior. But, like, I don't have it in me to go against chicken fries like that. Okay. So I have a few things. James commented, I don't believe Mike when he says he can't see the comments. I think he's seeing mine and voting the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, I really can't. I really can't see anything. The last thing I see was that Alfonso began watching this live video. 
And oh, it yeah, still that, tells that was, me that was, that was forever ago. It still yeah, tells yeah. me that there's two viewers, but when I click on it, it shows me that there's more than two viewers. Yeah. So I wish I could see it. I really do wish I could see it. I could see the Facebook ones, but for whatever reason, I can't see the uh, the Instagram ones. I'm scrolling and it just doesn't do it. So I'm going to retort here and I, I'm going to disagree. We're, uh, we're going a little fast here, uh, but I'm, I'm disagreeing. I'm, I'm, I think that Burger King's fries themselves, the French fries themselves, might be the worst on this bracket, like just by themselves. I honestly think that. And obviously the chicken fry is a, a little bit okay. of, of something to add, you know, to their, to their resume. But in, in my opinion, I, I mean, the McDonald's fry is so classic to me. I love the shoestring cut. I love the shoestring. The salt, you know, can be a little bit hit or miss, but usually you get that nice salty bite that you want. You get that nice salty potato-y fry that you want. Nice and hot, nice and crisp. Sometimes you get a little crisp. Sometimes you get the, the softer ones. I think McDonald's is the winner for me. Uh, I know I already oh, have- I, it's. I could be swayed. I could be swayed to that. I'm not sold in. I, I do agree. Ah, man, it's such a tough call because the, I'm not going to Burger King. I think I think their fries are too bad. I think I, I really don't enjoy. You know, that's a, that's all right. I mean, <clears throat> I could take the L on this one and, and smile um, because McDonald's fries are pretty iconic, um, and I, I do think if Burger King didn't have chicken fries and if they weren't just Burger King, you know, like one yeah. Of the head, Yes, foods. I don't think they probably would have been in the discussion. So I'm okay with taking the L on this one, uh, taking the L to chicken fries because I guess it is it's different. It's not. They're not French. They're chicken. Yeah, they're not. They're they're not French. They are indeed chicken. <laughs> uh, and we did have one vote. If we did want to go to a vote, James did vote McDonald's. Uh, I don't know if there's been any other comments on the Facebook. No, B King is whack, says Lindsay. <laughs> right. Um, so safe to say, I'm moving McDonald's on to the yeah. final round. Okay. And now we're going to the final first round matchup. We got Taco Bell versus Checkers. This, I don't want to curse. Well, this is a, this is a this is a landslide. That, that's the, that's that's the one when we, when I was making the bracket, we were prepping, and I was making the bracket. I said, "Oh, this one." I don't think this one's a competition. I don't even. I don't even want to spend time on it. Checkers. We, checkers <laughs> is, is I don't a, even want to spend time on it. I don't even check, want to spend time. <laughs> checkers is a uh, is a high caliber fry in this bracket, and Taco yeah. Bell is a, kind of the the gimmick of the bracket in a little bit of a way. You got the nacho fries, limited time. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're gone. We got Steve Harrington. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, I didn't even get to try them. Yeah, they, they're, they're always they there. Gone. And then the I want to go try them again because they were gone. I had them the first time. The first time they came out, wasn't impressed. Somebody had told me um, that they got better. Sorry, I, I paused because I thought of a song. Somebody told me your boyfriend. Right. Uh, somebody told me they were better, and I went to go try them. Gonzo. So if maybe if they were good, they would stick around. I said it. Hey. Wow, that's some truth right there. Yeah, I'm shooting from the hip. But, hey, something that Taco Bell does have back, though, which is kind of in the same realm, they got potatoes back in general. They just have, like, potatoes in their stuff, which I'm just saying, hey, I'm not saying I'm not voting for them. I'm just bringing it up as a new thing, like, that they do have, uh, you know, on their dollar menu, they got the spicy potato soft taco. They got they had the beefy cheesy potato rito for a little. I'm just telling you. I'm just letting you know they do have. I know. I know it's. I know it's there. But they took out so many good things. Yes. I still got heat with them. Yeah. No. Still got beef. No more crunchies. Okay. Yeah. Don't get me started on this Taco Bell. Yeah. You were. I mean, at one point you said you're boycotting them. Yeah. You know what? I like potato tacos, Christian. Uh, I agree with you. I like tacos uh, a little too much to be. Fortunately. Anyway, moving on to the semifinal round. We're going gonna back to the other side of the bracket. <laughs> we have, oh, I can show you the whole bracket here. Let's see. Arby's <laughs> versus Five Guys. Donald's. McDonald's versus <laughs> Checkers. This is impossible already. But this is ridiculous. Goes. We're going to try to do it. Arby's versus Five Guys. Where are you at, Mike? 
All right. So before I get into this, he's distressed already. I yes, I'm very distressed. Um, do you want to do a three, two, one countdown on either of these? And if you do, which one? Let's do. Uh, uh, let's do this one. This one? Oh God. We got RVs and Five Guys. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. You do the countdown because okay. I always mess it up. I don't know how to count. Uh, on zero, right? Three, two, zero. one, boom. On the zero. Three, two, one. Where guess. zero would be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? <laughs> we're gonna say three, two, one. We're not even gonna discuss where how we feel. We're just gonna say it out, and then we'll if we if we are not the same, then we'll uh, you know we'll get talk to the about comments. it. We're gonna have to talk about it. All right. All right. Hit me with the hit me with the countdown, Birdman. Three, two, one. Five. Arby's. Oh, my I God. curse and I curse and I curse. <laughs> oh my God. This is okay. it. It's all right. Hey. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, <laughs> why'd you pick for Arby's? <laughs> Dude. Arby's. Curly fries are phenomenal. They have regular fries that are also phenomenal. If you go to Arby's between the hours of 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. I don't want this. I don't want this. <laughs> you can get a small fry, which is a nice portion, I should add. A nice size fry for a small for $1. As well as their sliders. I'm not getting paid by the Arby's right now. I'm just a, I'm just a big advocate. Well, hey, I just want to I just want to immediately counter you. I know that you said um I know that you said that the um, the five guys, the small that you get, you get a ah, ton of fries. Ah, you know he's not I mean? wrong. You he's get not a wrong. portion. You get a he's bunch not of the wrong. I'm hitting you right back with it. I think it's almost even a better deal. I don't know. The one dollar, I don't know how big that portion is. I haven't taken advantage of that. You know what? You know what? Personal. You know what? I'm going to change my vote. I'm going to no change way. my vote because I could do I didn't it. Even you know what? Like for anything. You don't even have to do it. As I'm thinking about it, I don't think any of these fast food places, with the exception of maybe one, has loaded fries. You can get loaded fries at Five Guys. Yes, you can. Like cheese and bacon, load that bad boy up. You know, I, I'm, I'm sold. I, I convinced myself. I, yep. I'm going. I'm, go, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch it. And also, the small... You used my own ammunition against me, but it worked. That's all you had to say. I'm sold. I'm sold on it. All right. Hey, five guys. I'm, five. I, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. It's for, it's for no. my cause. Um, five guys moving on to the finals. Uh, five guys. Uh, this, this finals is going to be ridiculous. I'm already sweating. I mean, yeah. it's also like 106 degrees here in Florida. Yeah. And my air conditioner is deciding to take his uh, union break right now. It seems. But this finals okay. is going to be ridiculous. This matchup right now is going to be even though for me, it's a foregone conclusion. Yes, we got McDonald's versus Checkers <clears throat> right here. Mike yeah. just said it's a foregone conclusion. I think I know where he's going because he did vote against McDonald's in the first round. Um, and something I do know about Mike is he loves Checkers fries. He, certainly did. And, you know, it's hard not to love Checkers fries. Checkers fries have that wonderful crispiness to them, right? When you... I can't deal with this. The finals. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Checkers has uh, this beautiful seasoning that they never get wrong. Send them. <laughs> you got to send them. I'm going to be honest. I was a little late to the Checkers game. Yeah. But happens. once I tried their fries, I said, oh, this is some different stuff. Another this... thing with them, their sizes are pretty well portioned. Too. Yes, they are they're, as well. They're pretty good sizes. Yes, they are as well. I do agree with that. Uh, I'm if, you guys, if you guys have not had Checkers fries, I know like they're a you little bit less common. Uh, checkers slash rallies, you know, yeah. if you're at somewhere else in the country, uh, same same difference. Um, I think I think it is a foregone conclusion. I know McDonald's. I talked about iconic shoestring, really, uh, you know, doing it big for the shoestring. But Checkers, you know, they're like they're such. Okay, we'll talk about it in the finals. We'll talk. We're gonna have to talk about it in the finals because this is the, this is probably one of the hardest matchups, uh, the hardest finals that we've ever had. I think. So because both of them, because both of them have loaded fries, and that's what I was alluding to before. 
Checkers also has loaded fries. Checkers oh, versus five you don't want, guys. You don't want loaded fries? Maybe you want some little chicken bites? They got a nice little box with chicken bites and fries. This is going to be tough. They have burgers with their fries on it. That's a real thing. It That's is. Shoot. Checkers, right? Checkers, that is. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't I, I mean, Five Guys has burgers too. I didn't know if they did that. I didn't think so. I don't think they have burgers with food. No, they don't. They don't. I mean, you could. You could do it on your own. Yeah, you could do it on your own, Not but you could totally. literally get it off the menu. They have a burger, Checkers says, with fries. Okay. Checkers or I don't know what I do. I don't know what I want to do here. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to let you talk about it. Okay. I'm like talking a lot right now. I want to I want to hear what you got. One of the things that <laughs> it is definitely on my mind right now and we just we did, did just talk about range a little bit with Checkers uh, having them on the burger, having them on having loaded fries. Yes, raising your hand. We got a comment. It's not on the live, but it's on the video I had shared on the Facebook. Nathan's fries, the best, hands down. Who is that from? That is from a family friend. I call him Boo Boo James D'Amato. And he's got a point, honestly. I honor- I honorably mentioned them. You did. You did. And I think that if Nathan's the chain hasn't really been going downhill for the past number of years. I mean, for goodness sakes, they closed the original one in Brooklyn. Yeah. So, like, for me, it's like, I don't even want to put them in there. Yeah. Um, but one thing I, I do want to say definitely quick about the, those fries, the red the red little fork that you got with them, so cool. Oh, okay, dude, so cool. Nobody yeah. does it like that. Anyway, sorry. What I was going to say about Five Guys uh, and their range, something that is keeping in the back of my head. I don't know if you like them as much as me, but something that I really love is the Cajun fries because they, okay, the regular fries that you get from Five Guys have, you know, their own kind of oily salt saltiness to them. Um, and Checkers has their own kind of distinct, distinct one seasoning that they do. But I think the Cajun fries have, you know, a very, it's not very similar to the, to the seasoning of, of checkers, but it has, you know, another element, another flavor that they add, which is not just the loaded fries, which you can also get at five guys. I'm talking range a lot, but I'm also thinking just the fry in general, but the, 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 the real difference is that I feel like the crispiness versus, I feel like the five guys fries are a little more oily, a little bit more soft at times. You don't get as many of those crisp bites um, and that's another factor that that I'm really thinking about here. Uh, this, is, this is tough. And personally, I've actually never had the Five Guys Cajun fries. Okay. So which which is which is really unfortunate for me right now to yeah. make a final decision, um, because I feel like that could really be the the game changer for me personally. At least. But oh man, this is so this is tough. It's tough because like there's. There's, I would say there's more range for Five Guys, but like that that crunch, and there is still a softness to the crunch. Like it's a nice mixture of crunch and soft from the seasoning of the Checkers fries, and it's just like, ah man, how do you go? And then you know you get them loaded if you want to do that. You know what I mean? Like those crunchy fries with cheese and bacon on it. Sheesh! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna let you talk this one out, man. I don't know if I can decide. I actually, I'm looking at the names right here. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at them. Five guys, checkers. I, I'm. I have. I have a. I have a. I have a lean. I have a lean. You're leaning. I have a lean. Do you have a lean, or are you still are you still honestly? I have, honestly, I have no idea. Okay. I feel like I don't know. I feel like with whatever you say, when, whenever you say it, am I, I the one deciding what, the Hall of Famer right now? I, I don't know. It <laughs> might it might click it might click for me either one way or the other. Well, you might say one, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, he's 100 percent right. Or you're going to say one, and I'm going to be like, you know what? I disagree. Okay. Hold on, I got to fix my hair here. What's going on? Here? So let me say. I'm leaning checkers. I am leaning checkers. Charlie. I think that they 
Oh, look at that. Charlie on Facebook, a one-year anniversary follower, it says when he comments. How cute is that? That's very nice. That's very nice. I don't know if Charlie or Stephanie can can help. I know Charlie is gluten-free, so that's a bit of a, a hindrance on uh, the fries. The, on the fry skis. Um, I don't think I don't think the checkers thing would work for him. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I, I just said it. I think checkers. You said checkers. I think checkers is my winner because um, I know the five guys. Is, oh, ha, okay, the five guys. Um, so tough. This is so freaking tough. I, I can't talk against the the five. There's like there's so there's not really much. It's just like this gut instinct that I think the fry, the essence of the fry at checkers is just a little bit stronger. And I keep going back to thinking like, oh, it, there's something about the fry itself that really sells it and the five guys it's more of like the experience the stuff the, you know you get the oil in the bag that's the fun part you know i don't know i don't know i could be swayed with this if you if you if you start talking I'll, about five guys a lot i really could be swayed but right now i have a slight lean towards checkers yeah i'm i'm gonna i want to see what kind of comments come in. i did ask charlie if he with his gluten free if he's able to uh, he said Chick Fil A fries with the Chick Fil A sauce. He had he said sausage, which is a typo, uh, and then he corrected it. But he still spelled sauce wrong. <laughs> is fire emoji? Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> yes, we did talk about that earlier, Charlie. And um, unfortunately, they did get uh, by five guys because they five, are five, a five, very five. strong contender here. Um, uh, I think. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to lock in my answer now. I'm going to agree, and I'm going to say checkers. Okay. And the reason being oh. is I've had more checkers in my life than five guys. I've been having checkers longer than I have been five guys, and I think that was the deciding factor for me at least. But honestly, either one of them could be in the Hall of Fame. It could be easily a 1A, 1B type of thing Yeah, because, my goodness, it, I, I, re I really think so. Like, I have to go back and check the – previous finals to Hall of Fame episodes. I think this might have been the hardest one. We say, I feel like we say it every time. Sometimes I think- We uh, say it every time, though. But I, th I feel like I mean it more this time. Sometimes I think the brackets cause even like yeah. like the semifinals or even the first round matchups can be super tough. Maybe this one wasn't as hard, but the finals in this one, you know, we had really sure. two super strong contenders on both sides. And, yeah. you know- I kind of almost so, knew that it was going to be that way. There we go. I feel right. like the inductee is checkers. Yeah. It's official. I feel like for for this bracket specifically, the ones that are if it was ranked like one through eight, the ones that were at the top are like phenomenal, and then the ones at the bottom were just kind of like couldn't really you know couldn't really hang yeah. with like anybody. You know what I mean? Like there was a far gap. I I think, he, he, okay, and this is kind of the same thing. I think no matter how it shook out, well, I think. I think it was going to come down to these. I two. think the top four, no, I'm saying like that. I think the top four made it to the final four. Like, I think that they were all like, okay, I'll say it right now. Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Bell, and then Chick-fil-A was like, but like Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Bell, all, if, if one of those were like face Bottom up, two. Yeah, like one on one, that would have been like, oh man, that was a gimme. Like that, that, yeah. that's tough, you know. <laughs> so good. No, I, agree. I think that is. Thank you. I think that is that is like the top four uh, uh, that made it to the semis. Yeah, and finals. I, I I would agree on that. And yeah, this one was this one was tough. And like I think no matter how the it was very good randomizing that. The, that this was the finals because I think that this would have been the deciding factor either way. Like if these two met in the semis on one side, then like it, whoever was, won, yeah, whoever won that would have beaten whoever was on the other side. Honestly, like, yeah. I think these are one A one one B. So there it is. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you're listening to this afterwards, what we got wrong, what we got right, who you would have got in your Hall of Fame, and. Who you are in our game. Hall of Fame. I am going to now share my screen on the Facebook. Uh, and you guys can watch on the video. Audio learners, you guys can see it on um, 
Let me do this. I'll do a link in my description. Oh, I was going to flip mine. Okay, good. Oh, you did it. Oh, I did it. You did it. There he is. Great. From a e at AEW, a little company called All Elite Wrestling. Got that little blue check mark. Oh, I haven't heard of them. Yeah, I've never heard of them. They had a, they had a pretty decent show on, uh, on Sunday called Double or Nothing. Just a little thing they did. Uh, with we a won't full go crowd. Too far into that. Yeah. yeah, we won't go too far into it, but um, the first full crowd experience um, for professional wrestling. And I don't know if I wouldn't say professional sports because I'm pretty sure some sports have already done it. But anyway, I digress. They had tweeted because he, last night on AEW Dynamite, instead of Wednesday, because there, there's a little scheduling conflict with the NBA playoffs and stuff, they went over to Friday and doing Friday night thing. Andrade. El Idolo. I don't know That's if how we're saying, saying that correctly. El I, Idolo. That's how we're saying Formerly it. known as Andrade Cian Almas or just Andrade in the WWE. Yes. Welcome it's all elite. Team. He is all elite. Welcome to the tree. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the team. Andrade is all elite. Tune into AEW now on TNT Drama. At TNT Drama. I think this is a. A great signing for them. I mean, there was already there was already things where he had called out Kenny Omega for the AAA title in Mexico. I'm sure that match is uh, that match actually might have already happened. I could be mistaken. I'm not. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. It might have already happened. There's just a lot of wrestling companies, so good for them. I think this is an amazing signing, and I think he can instantly be a main eventer. 100. I, I think he. The, I think what? he already is. One of the best workers. I mean, I mean, I can't believe. I mean, I mean, I can because it's the WWE, but that they let him slip away. You know, um, I totally can yeah, uh, okay. understand it, but because of WWE's reputation these days, I guess I would say, um, especially, especially recently. Yeah, which I don't really want to. Also, um, I don't want to get too much into that. But yeah, I mean, that's a whole nother conversation. But uh, yeah. you know, this is a huge, huge deal for AEW going forward, and. Uh, I think they're really just going to keep building momentum and he uh, is going to help them do that for sure. Yeah. And you know what? And I know there's going to be, I know there's going to be, you know, the WWE marks that are, are just anti AEW anything, but like, this is a good thing for professional wrestling as a whole. Yeah. You can't just be blinded by WWE. Um, There's more than WWE out there. Yeah, um, I don't want to go too far into it because I can go on for it for hours and days even. <laughs> but this is this is a great signing. I'm very happy for him. I'm very happy for AEW for landing this signing with already a star-studded roster. This is just going to make their roster even better. Yeah, um, especially for that main event. I, I cannot wait to see him face Kenny Omega, Darby Allen. I, I mean, like the list goes on and on. Brian Cage even yep. like. The list goes on and on with the potential great matchups that Andrade can have in AEW. So I'm I'm very much for this signing. Yes. So that is the post of the week. I think Mike did a great job. I'll wrap it up there. Thanks. And thank you all for, for coming to the live. We're going to wrap it up here with our joke. Oh, Sign off. Back. Let you guys know about some of our ducks. And then we will hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. And talking about roads, Mike, I got a question for you. Oh, all right. Why yeah. couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Was on a roll. Because it got stuck in a crack. <laughs> Potty humor. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> I love butt humor, bro. Very good stuff. <laughs> so good. Toilet paper got stuck in the crack, crossing the road. That, that's amazing. <laughs> Knew it right away. Easy peasy. That joke. I like it. Um, I'm just gonna try and do a story on this, but. Uh... I, I don't think I can. I'm All just right. Short and simple. Uh, it's a question for you as well. Okay. Uh, what do you call a typo on a headstone? 
<laughs> I didn't even say it yet. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't say it. I got it. Yeah. I think I have it. Wait, should I say it or no? No. A grave mistake. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the punchline I had in my head. That's so oh, good. That's, <laughs> that's too funny. That's too funny. <laughs> grave That'd be mistake. really unfortunate. That'd be like really, really sad, actually. That, yeah, I mean, it's definitely happened. I'm though. sure it's happened. It's sure, exactly. definitely happened, which sucks. Sorry, that sucks. But, uh, yeah. You know what doesn't suck, though? Our promo codes. Oh, big time. Oh, big time promo codes. Big time promo codes, dude. Uh, especially if you're hungry, like I am right now after talking about these French fries. Uh, yeah. So eat. Just so eat. The OG shirt there, which I'll get to. But uh, you know what? I'm hungry. I could really go for some cheese leaks oh, if ooh. I'm on Long Island. I'm downloading the Cheesley's app. I'm loading up the cart. I'm buying for the family. And you know what happens if you spend $25 or more? Oh, what happens? If you use the promo code Nisto Bros on the Cheesley's app at checkout, you will receive $5 off your orders of 25 or more. Do it, please. Do it! And then also... Was really hyped about it. mugs. Yeah, not that specific shirt. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, yeah. This one discontinued at yeah, the time. Like OG. But this, you can get this sweet Nisto Bros mug. You can get uh, shirts, hoodies, shirts. You can hoodies. load up on those long sleeve shirts for the summer. You know that we all need stickers tank tops for the summer. That's you know what? Check this. Good. Check this. I could do this. I could do That's this stickers. right now because. I have this laptop over here. Look at that. Look Mount at that. Rushmore, and you know what? Fame. We got the Mount Rushmore right here. We got this Hall of Fame sticker right here. Hey, yeah. check it out. Cheesley's. And then also the I Am Morning Show. Check them out as well. You know what? All the, all of the plugs right there on the back of your laptop. Check the laptop. links in our description so you can check those out. And it, I know it. I know you don't like to pay for that shipping. So you can use code Nisto Shifts. Hey for free shipping on all your future orders and uh also do it so do it uh that's pretty much all we got tune in yep. next week on the hashtag this Bros podcast for episode 63 we're gonna continue the tradition we're going with the spanish german guessing game uh let me check the record real quick uh, I, I think this is always it's always going to be a hotly contested matchup. We got a close record. We're both five and four. We're both fighting to stay above five hundred, um, and it's going to be that's it's going to be stressful. I mean, last time, um, every time, Mike is on a a two guess winning winner. streak, two guess winning streak, and I also guessed right last time. So. Um, let's, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is the 10th time we're doing it. It's big. Um, so definitely, <laughs> definitely, uh, tune in for that. Yeah. Next Saturday. Can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. It's going to be a blast. Uh, last plug. This one's a more personal plug, uh, because I saw the central Florida Panthers, uh, tune in earlier. I doubt they're still here, but my Kujo. TV or the MyCujo app, or they might have changed it. I think it's 11 Sports now is the app. You go on there if you want to hear myself as well as Alfonso McCree Jr. call the uh, soccer game that is tonight. Uh, if you're a soccer fan or if you know you just want to show some love for us. you know, Because we, yeah. we dig that. We dig that. Check it out for sure. Uh, but that's pretty much all we got. Thank you guys for everyone who tuned in live and listened afterwards as well. Again, comment, send us a DM, whatever other Hall of Fame suggestions, what you think of this one, Hall of Fame, fast food, French fries, checkers is the winner. We didn't even talk. That's such an alliteration. Fast food, French fries. Say that a hundred times fast. Fast food, French fries. Oh, all right, right, all right, all right. Not, not going to do it. Not, not going to do it, though. Fast food, French fries. That's hard, bro. Okay. It is. It's tough. So to say that. The mouthful. Okay, we're off the rails. Yep. That's all from us. Peace, love, sip. 
eat a lot of French fries, and oh, I guess eat. I already said. <laughs> and and listen, listen to myself and Alfonso call soccer game. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs>